Howdy folks, Tex Grabney here with Tex Grabney Outdoors. Hope you guys are ready for your Tex Grabney Outdoors Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness. Because we're going to be making it weird. Wiley Coyote is my spirit animal, and I finally get to say I have killed with sticks. Now this is going to be a tips and tricks on spears video with some technique and a little bit of showmanship involved. Because anything worth doing is worth doing with style. Now I'm not an authority on spears. And I'm sure that I will get plenty of people that aren't nearly as good at this as me telling me how I should actually be throwing these. These hay bales, not the same hay bales, but where I'm standing now, when I was a puppy dog, I used to basically get an old truck antenna from a CB radio, the fiberglass ones with the copper wire wrapped around it that had the plastic over it and the uh, sharp end on it and I would throw truck antennas from old CB radios like Spears when I was a little kid into hay bales exactly like this. So this is a lifelong passion. If you're in the market for some high-end hunting ammunition between 30-06 all the way up to 505 Gibbs, check out my friends over at Aria Ballistic Engineering. If you're looking for a discount on all your trad life supplies or your bow fishing gear, and your order is going to be more than $100 and you want to show your support for Tex Grabner Outdoors, use the code Tex Grabner in your checkout at Three Rivers Archery. That will give you free shipping, especially on orders that are awkward, where it's a bow or a target replacement. Free shipping over a $100 order. Use the code Tex Grabner in your checkout. Now, if you're looking to get into the ethics archery system to armor the front of your arrows, use the code TGO10 at ethicsarchery.com and that will give you a 10% discount on your final purchase price. Sharpening these spears. I have used a belt sander, I have used a grinder, I have used a whetstone, and the best method that I have found over the years for getting these things hair popping sharp, and you can get them shaving sharp, is just a good sharp hard file and relieve out the edge from the factory bevel until you actually get down to the actual edge of the edge and as you can see when I bring it in close I've only taken enough off of this to show you but you relieve that edge down until you get to the actual edge of the edge and obviously you would want to do both faces of the blade just fine but just with a file you can get these things hair popping sharp the same way that you can with an old school Zwicky broadhead. And it's literally that simple. You don't need a belt sander or a grinder and you will wear yourself out trying to get these things sharp on a whetstone. Of course, this is basically like a two pound, seven foot long rage broadhead going through an animal. Spears take a lot more finesse than they get credit for because you don't necessarily have to throw them hard. The power is already in it. This is one of the specific questions that I got on the spear video that I want to answer. I do not have yet Lynn Thompson's new Maasai spear, but I'm super excited about it. Broom handle. Just buy a broom handle. Cut it to size, and with a wood rasp, file a flat on the round surface. Then on the opposite face, file another flat, and always work on opposites. And then you would knock those flats off until you got down, and you would be able to taper this to your desired size and have a good straight taper by filing flats and then filing off the flats in between on both ends. And anymore, I just do custom handles. This is a broomstick 
that I have done in the correct size to be a Samburu handle. And as you can see, it is textured. Now I, of course, epoxy on the chalices on both ends. JB Weld also works. But I paint the handle with epoxy, then sprinkle it with sand, let it cure, hit it with some chalkboard paint, and then put some sealer on it. Now, as you can see, a lot of my finish is coming off of here because anymore, because I'm obsessed with it, I practice with these things religiously. And in this video, just for the sake of being more photogenic, I've put some fluorescent paint on the end of these spears just for the sake of maybe making them contrast a little bit better in the air so that you can see them. I don't know how well it's going to work. But that's a broomstick handle for a Samburu spear. Like I say, I'm super excited about the forthcoming Maasai spears. And spear hunting is controversial, but when you put a spear where it needs to go, it is absolutely devastating. Now this may seem ridiculously close, however, this is about the range that I speared my second pig at. I speared my first pig even closer. Line up your natural point of aim here with your shoulder on the target. Find the balance point. You want the spear a little front heavy. Look at what you want to hit and it can be helpful to start out forward and throw off of the stretch reflex. Neither of my two pigs that I actually have to step through my throw. I'd have to range that, but I'm pretty sure that's about 10 yards. So now we're a little further away, so we're going to want the spear less front heavy. And we're also going to want the spear higher. Line up the natural point of aim, focus, throw off the stretch reflex. Fifteen yards gets a little bit more complicated. Throwing a two pound, seven foot long, two inch wide bladed stick through the air and trying to be accurate at 20 yards is a hell of a poke. I hate to admit it, but now I'm in range where an otolotl would be much more functional for long range and leverage. So close! You ever have that feeling like you did something cool and Nobody really cared about it. Well, guess what? Get used to it. This is real life. I'm Tex Grebner here with Tex Grebner Outdoors, and I bring you reality. So I hope that this video entertained you, or at the very least, you found the information that you were seeking. I do read your comments, and I hope that this answers your questions. As always, God bless all my sports of America. Join the NRA to protect your rights. Please check out my friends over at threeriversarcher.com. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement, you good cops out there, and those of you serving the military ready to die for freedom anywhere. And thanks for watching Tex Grebner Outdoors.